Welcome back to my channel. Today I just received an email about the release of Invideo AI version 3.0. So what's new in Invideo AI? Let's find out. I'm on the Invideo AI homepage and there are many new styles. A cartoon style. Animal movies. Cat clips. Cars food. And many new genres have appeared. So, what's new? Let's start exploring. First, go to the link I provided. And then sign up. Using your personal email address. Sign up with a personal email to, to create an account. Or you can sign in with Google or Apple. In this case, I already have an account, so I'll log in. After logging in, the screen looks like this. By default, the model is set to 3.0 to ensure it's selected like this by default. Remember to go here to edit. In the settings, and always enable beta features. This way, the latest features will always be updated for you. Also, I'll briefly mention that I'll check the pricing to see if there are any changes with the new features. The pricing has changed. For the annual service, it's $28, which I remember being the same as before. No change at all, but it's increased to $60. A slight increase, still 50 minutes, not much of a change. And there's an additional 60s feature. We'll explore what this is. For the monthly plan, it's $35, which I recall has already increased. If you have a coupon, I've included one in the video description. You can click here to enter the coupon. The coupon will give you an additional 50 minutes for your first run. I've been using Invideo for three months. I'm using their plus plan and paying annually. So overall, it's quite good. And there are many new features. Now let's explore. Let's go back to the home screen and click create a video. And the interface has changed here. By default, we'll select 3.0. Let's open this up and see. Wow, there are options like creating a short video, 15 seconds for various platforms, 30 seconds, scripts and videos. So many options. I'll try anime and see what it's like. Anime shorts. Interesting. Quite a lot of new features and it will take a lot of time to research this. Let's go into this clip and try it. It looks like a cartoon movie. All right. Okay, let's go in. The changed interface allows you to select the duration. YouTube. TikTok, Instagram. I'll choose YouTube. 30 seconds. Then, the topic. For example, I'll say Donald Trump. Okay. Trump just won the election. So I'll make the topic about Donald Trump. Next, I'll use existing media. Stock media, I'll use. The default style. The ones below are quite expensive. These styles below cost quite a bit. Like, wow, Lego, interesting. I've seen a lot of styles and they're very appealing. I think it will be very attractive. There's even Disney. I like the chibi style. I'll choose chibi. Actually, I'll choose Lego and see what it looks like. Then you choose the background music. Click to select the type. I'll leave it at default. The natural language is English. There are many languages here. Then there are captions. It now generates captions for us. That's good. It gets the theme, but it should have a display showing 
what the captions look like. It would be more intuitive than seeing it like this. Sometimes it's hard to imagine. Users might not be able to visualize it. This is a weakness of InVideo AI compared to other AI applications. I've mentioned this in other clips. On my videos, you can check them out on my channel. Okay, I'll select this. For the voice, I'll choose a male voice, a Californian voice. Okay, this will display the watermark on your video. Mine is Future AI Sun. This is my brand. Okay, I'll leave it like this. O okay, this is the same as before. It hasn't changed. I'll use no is stock. Okay, music. For music, there are three options. Stock media, YouTube, etc. I'll choose the best one. Then I'll click continue. To see. Wow. Basically, it's similar. Just easier to create. If you're familiar with this, you might even be faster typing it in. Create a video. Now we'll wait for the video to be generated by the AI. Wow, it's thinking. It's editing images, gathering information from, see, it's gathering information from CNN, from news articles to create. I see it's quite intelligent now. It knows how to find external sources. Okay, now we'll wait for the video to be created. Wow, it took me about three minutes to reach this screen. About three minutes. Then it will give us different styles. For example, if you're a Lego fan, you should choose this. I'll choose it. Okay, I'll keep the rest as default. It allows me to choose again. Okay, I can edit the Chrome. I think this is quite good. Before, it didn't let us choose at all. And this requires 30 credits. What are credits? I'm not sure. We'll come back to that later. We'll address that later. Okay. Okay. So that means if we're using a free version, it gives us around 60 credits. Okay, I'll click it. These are our credits. Okay. Okay, everyone. I just learned that. The free version. The one I'm demoing. Doesn't allow us to create. Videos quickly like this only. The paid version does. So we have to create a new video. Okay, I'll create a new video. Oh. I'm not sure if. We have to. Create these videos. Do I have to rely on that? Okay, I'll find out. Okay, after looking into the new features of InVideo AI 3.0. As we saw earlier, if we choose this feature, it will automatically generate videos using AI. To use this, we must pay. Now I'll use media from stock footage like this. It will be similar to version to 0.0. Now let's click continue. The system will retrieve those videos. Now there's an additional feature. Media from other sources. An AI generated media by AI. This is a great improvement. Let's say you have it create a video while waiting. You can click notify when ready. This means you can go to sleep or something and have the AI create a seamless video. Let's try that in the next video. Next time, I'll use my paid account to show you. You can go to sleep, and when you come back, you'll have a long video. Very cool. I find the new features very interesting. Now, I'll briefly talk about the paid version, which allows creating 60 second or 900 second videos using AI. With AI, if we create a cartoon, it will generate a seamless cartoon. A whole movie using AI. I find this an incredibly interesting feature. In version 3.0. And it's worth paying for. I'll demonstrate it in a future video. In the next video. But I'm not sure. 
if creating this will deduct 60 seconds from my allowance or if each time it generates up to 60 seconds wait for the next video i'm already finding this quite compelling okay the video is done it takes images from copyrighted video sources from copyrighted videos for example here we need to go to edit here are the media images it's taken from stock media and this is automatically generated i didn't create this so i'll skip it the interface has also changed for example we can adjust the volume upload a video overall there are changes in many editing aspects i think it's a pretty decent improvement a decent improvement over the previous version quite a lot let's see some more features the length adjustment before we had to adjust it up there i had to adjust it up there quite impressive a new feature in the media section now let's move to the music section i don't see any changes in the music no changes at all regarding the script i don't see any difference from before exactly the same but there's an addition too e edit all the ai generated meteor it's the same here not much different in this area there's an added settings section settings here allow us to adjust some audio colors themes and such i don't find it very compelling what i think is most compelling if i'm satisfied i click change the rest is the same as before allowing us to edit videos using prompts I think the most compelling feature here is on AI generated video created with AI specifically this part I think the most valuable aspect is here I'll look for some sample videos to see how compelling they are okay let's see I found some demos of version 3.0 I'll demo it later by creating one now I'll go to their homepage there are some features to enable the beta 3.0 features you have to check this i also showed this in the previous video these are the videos i created this is like a panoramic painting let's go in okay there's a sample prompt copy this clicking this will paste it into the system and it will generate the entire video see it's very seamless a very coherent story i'll show you in the next video the hands however still aren't very good but it creates a seamless story i think it's very good hopefully the price will be reduced soon okay thank you for watching today's video i'll be releasing more videos about invideo ai in the future in the future, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe so I can create more interesting and video AI videos. And be sure to visit my channel for other videos. Also, if you find it helpful, click the link below to upgrade so you can use the many compelling features of version 3.0. Like these. Wow, I'm really excited about it. Thank you all for watching today's video.